That's China International. It's 2014 hours UTC. But this radio video is not about uh, DXing, not really. Or China Radio International or any other international broadcast. What this radio video is about <clears throat> is just some shortwave basics for beginners. And the first thing I wanted to show you is you got that brand new shortwave radio. You want to take care of it. The thing you don't want to do is scratch the lens. So that's why I do this. This is a microfiber cloth. You don't need to put water on it or anything. And you can wipe the lens all that you want and you'll never scratch it. Never use paper towels or napkins or toilet paper or even your t-shirt. Don't do that. Use a microfiber cloth. You get about five of them for two bucks at the dollar store if you're in America or if you're in Europe, Teddy or Kick or one of those places are very cheap. Another thing is a paintbrush. No, I'm not gonna paint my radios. What you do with this is you can keep the dust off of your radios. I dust mine every day with a paintbrush. Just like this. You can get all the cracks and the stuff out of the, uh, the speaker grill and uh, gets in all the corners real nice. Keeps it all nice and clean. Paintbrush. Cost about 50 cent. Yep. Another thing, you know, I was looking at some videos the other day about uh, basic antennas. People want to teach you how to build an antenna. And uh, they start out wanting to um, sh make it as simple as possible, I guess. And they end up just going on and on and on and on. And one guy says he on the internet and on the YouTube says he wants, I want to show you a, a basic antenna really fast, simple to make. And by the time he gets done after a 20 minute video, you don't know what he's talking about because he's done, he's gone off into outer space somewhere with all this technical crap. So I'm going to show you how to make a basic antenna. So you buy your brand new shortwave radio. You're sitting in your living room. You pull up the telescopic antenna and you got noise. Well, number one, you may be listening. The, the meter band that you're on may be the, at the wrong time of day. Number two, you have AC line noise inside of your house. And your antenna normally will pick this up unless you have a, a room you can experiment from walking to room to room to find the quietest place. But then let's say you're in a house like mine and every room you go into is full of noise. The only thing you can pick up is on, with the telescopic antenna is on the outside. So you want an antenna, an outside antenna. Well, the basic, most basic antenna you can get is, is not very complicated. It's just a long piece of wire. There is some confusion about these wire antennas. Some people call them long wires. Some people call them random wires. Well, first, a long wire antenna has to be one wavelength or more in length before it's actually a long wire. Any other size antenna is a random wire. So you want to build yourself an antenna to get the maximum use out of your new shortwave radio. Everybody does. So let's look at the basics of a wire antenna. Now here's a mock-up that I've made of a basic antenna. Look, you don't need ins you don't even need an insulator. You know, you just wrap your wire like that. You can wrap it more than this. And some cord, cordage. And you can tie it off on one end, tie it off on the other end, and the wire is in the middle. So, what about your connection here? Now, I soldered this connection just for uh, aesthetics, I guess. All you need is a piece of uh, satellite or cable TV antenna wire. That's all you need. You skin the wire, the insulation back, you wrap it, you can solder it. If you don't have a soldering iron, you can even heat it up with a cigarette lighter 
and add solder to it. Or you can just wrap it. You don't even need solder. And uh, But make sure this connection here is wrapped in tape so you don't get any uh, uh, moisture in it to corrode the, the copper. And uh, here I use heat shrink, but you can wrap it with tape to do that because this braid, you don't need to do anything with the braid inside. That's only a shield, but you don't want water to get into the braid because if it does, it can't actually wick all the way down back to your receiver. And that's something you don't want. So how long? Well, it's according. If you have the space, make it as long as you want. If you don't have the space, make it as long as you can. And that's all it is. And then just experiment with it. Most radios, uh, if it's a desktop communication receiver, uh, general coverage receiver, it has a, a PL259 connector uh, like this. And you can attach it to this side. Or you can just do the same thing. Skin the wire back and use an alligator clip. Clip it to the antenna. You'll see a marked improvement, I guarantee you. But number one, let's say this is your house. You want this antenna as far away from your house as possible. It should be at least like five meters. That way it doesn't pick up any interference from the, uh, uh, from the AC line, uh, the alternating current in your house. Because actually it's almost like a force field in a circle all around your house where that interference is being radiated. So you want your antenna as far away from the house as possible. And that's all you need. When you start doing this, then you can later on, you can experiment. You can make, and you can make one longer, you can make it shorter. Uh, you can even try making a multiband. And uh, you can find all the instructions on the internet. So, and I want to show you something else here. This is for the other guys who know all about the basics. This is my portable UNUN -UN that I made. This end to the antenna, this end to the receiver, and this is the ground. Or ground it to connector. But what this is, is a ferrite coil from a, an old radio. And there's 10 turns on it. And uh, I got this idea for this UNUN uh, -UN from a, a German ham and shortwave radio enthusiast and uh, which I'll post the link for that. All I need to do now is find an enclosure for this and I'm going to connect it to the receiver via a uh, monoplug like so and uh, then I can take this with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some cheap antenna wire I'm going to take it out in the woods and string that antenna wire and then I can just uh, connect this in but via an uh, alligator clip to the antenna, this end to the radio. And then when I'm done, I just take this whole setup and leave and leave the antenna hanging in a tree. So maybe uh, if somebody comes along and messes the antenna up or steals a wire, you know, it's 10 bucks, 10 euros worth of speaker wire gone, okay? No big deal. But it, I doubt that that happens. Most times Germans, they don't mess with anything when they see it out in the field. So. I guess that's about it. Happy DXing to all my friends and uh, subscribers and <clears throat> you guys who are just starting out in shortwave. Don't be taken aback by uh, all of the uh, complicated bull jargon that you will hear out there on YouTube because everybody's got to start somewhere and you can build a simple wire antenna. Start out simple and learn as you go. With that said, top of the day to you, Signal Hunter out.